Strap. Yep. This massive or what? Oh my goodness. It seems pretty big. Send it, Anthony! <laughs> oh my god. What's up, buddy? What's up? Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm glad we ran into each other since yeah. there's no cell reception up here. <laughs> Not that it would be that hard, it seems like. What's up, Anthony? Hey, YouTube friends. You. Beaver Mountain, let's go. What up, Trace? Good to see you, man. I was just concerned walking over. I'm like, man, if we have no signal. I know. <laughs> <find> Trace? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, he's on time, we're on time. Yeah. There's a, a ski instructor who follows board progression that works here. He's a snowboarder. I'm hoping we can link up with him, but yeah. I don't think I'll be able to DM. <laughs> so yeah. hopefully maybe, we'll bump into him. But. Maybe you guys know this, maybe you don't know it. Um, Beaver Mountain's claiming that they are the longest family-run ski resort in America. So that's pretty cool. Pretty sick. It's going to be a fun day. Oh, that's so cool. Is that a camera? I think it's a telephone. Yeah. Yeah, 1939, Harold and Luella established the Beaver Mountain Ski Resort. This shows them taking the communication system to the top of Beaver's facelift. Oh, wow. In the fall of 1961. Wow. Nowadays, they have like dial phones in the bottom and top of lift shacks where you could just dial wherever on the mountain. But before that, they had comm lines, which I imagine that's what they're bringing right here, which was pretty much like the two cups attached to a string. Kind of method. <laughs> Top right. to the top to bottom. That's awesome. I got a hat like that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I wonder if they're wearing VOs. <laughs> <laughs> There's the zipper right there. <laughs> Hi there, how are you? Good. What's your name? March. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What was the year this place opened? 1939. My 19... father and mother-in-law. Wow. Is it so is that Harry and Harry and Will. Oh, wow, yeah. that's very cool. I love that. Like you're, you're respecting your ancestors. You yeah. know, like yeah. song. That's awesome. The it latest, the highest, as long as I have anything to say. Awesome. About it. I like to hear those. I respect that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you for uh, keeping this place going, and we're excited to to be here today. We're happy to have you. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Too. It is. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. We will you. absolutely. Yeah, we'll like it. Got the Beach Boys playing. Loving the vibes out yeah. here. Might have to tell me how to do this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> how do you do this, this is hilarious. This is what I grew up with back east on like Attached. Pennsylvania resorts. Oh, you just you peel, you peel it, it off the, okay. and then you fold it over. So like this? Yep. And then just fold it over one itself so that it sticks to itself. That's it. That's when the way I, lift tickets always used to be so everywhere. Cool. Yeah. When I even started Ride Brighton, they were this way. Yeah, drop a comment down below, guys, if you ride anywhere that still uses the ticket wickets or if you have in the past. The adventure begin. How you doing, gentlemen? Oh, great run. Thank you. Back. Now, <laughs> he's a snowboarder. Dude, uh, oh, what do up here? Yeah. There's a cat track that goes up higher? What's this? Whoa, let's figure that out. Yeah. Dude, that looks like a hike, maybe. Wow. We just asked her if we could hike up there, and she said she thinks so. So. I think we're gonna hike up a little bit higher. This is like the shortest hike ever. <laughs> I'll hike this all day. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say. Wow. Holy smokes. Beaver on that solar game. Good job, guys. You guys ready for Woo! an all time day? Always. <laughs> Look at this. I don't know if I mentioned this, but we are 
really close to Bear Lake, which is like right over there. Selick and I posted some footage over the summer of us at Bear Lake. Really beautiful turquoise blue water. Feels like you're in the Caribbean. But that's like right over those mountains. And Idaho is just over yonder. Little geography lesson. Well guys, we just had our first lap here at Beaver Mountain. It was awesome. It was everything I expected <laughs> yeah. it to be. It beautiful uh -huh. views, gorgeous skies right now. Bluebird it feels like, even though it hasn't snowed here for a while. Yep. We're getting fresh turns. The snow on the corduroy is amazing. It's fire. Fire. That's what the kids That's are the saying. Kids say. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, and we expected it to be not crowded and no lift lines, but there's like what, 20 people here on <laughs> the whole mountain, it feels like. That's how it, how many it's people insane. it seems like I've counted. No cell signal though, FYI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cell service. <laughs> There's no cell service. Tell your spouse is, uh, yeah, you're just going to be missing in action all day. Take what you will from that, guys. Beaver yeah. Mountain. <laughs> Beaver Mountain. <laughs> but yeah, it's beautiful up here. Matt, what's up, buddy? Nice gloves. Dude, nice oh, gloves. Yeah, we're just telling her about them. I told her they're, they're game changers. Yeah. Oh, he has them too. <laughs> oh, and he's got them too. Thanks for them. There you go. There's another model. What? Yeah. Well, look at these. You got to get like yourself a pair. 30 years old. Yeah, you need some new gloves. If you use promo code board progression, all one word, you get 15% off. Oh my gosh, you guys have changed a lot. <laughs> so, Matt, yeah. great to meet you, man. Yeah, good to meet you too. Thanks for waking up with us today. Yeah. And, and then on. what's your name? Merrick. Merrick? Merrick. Merrick. M-E-R-E-K. Awesome. Is this your son? Yep, he's 13 and he shreds hard. Awesome. Dang, bro. So yeah. cool. Awesome. <laughs> well, uh, any recommendations of where we should head? We were going to ask you uh, your thoughts on like the stuff that's right outside of bounds, like rope line, basically. It's all pretty crusty. Is it? If I took you out to the backside, we'd hike a little further. Yeah. Because you want to find good pounds. Yeah. So. Well, we'll uh, trust you if you've got any guidance. I've done it enough. Sweet. I'm just stoked to explore. Do you guys want to do like a, a regular, just like, you know, lift lap first and then maybe something yeah, like that? Yeah, like just bomb. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Let's I do just that. want to follow Matt, I think. Cool. I know. <laughs> How's it going, man? What's your name? Chad. Chad? Good to meet you. 
they come up here. Yeah, dude. Beautiful. Yeah. Thanks for saying hi. Boys and girls. That was first lap through, by the way. <laughs> Nicely done, bro. <laughs> yeah. First lap through, hitting them blind. Don't recommend that, by the way. <laughs> nice, bro. They're very nicely built. Hell yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll tell you guys if you haven't heard. Some of you have heard this story, maybe you haven't. So, I uh, had a desk job. I turned 35 and I had sort of like an epiphany moment of like, what am I doing with my life, you know? Yeah. And I started watching YouTube videos at my job because I was so bored. You can maybe see where this is going, guys. <laughs> um, I was bored all the time. I had a lot of downtime. I started watching YouTube videos and I started watching snowboard videos. And I was like, man, I miss snowboarding. And I can't believe there's people who are making a living, even though they're not like pro snowboarders. They're not crazy, the best yeah. riders. So yeah. I was like, I can ride probably as good as some of them. Yeah. Or at least I can like make some good uh, video editing skills uh, come into play. Cause that's what I was doing. I was a video editor at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so my wife was like, I think we should do it. Start filming on the East Coast. And so I did that. Shout out Liberty. <laughs> and uh, decided in 2018 to make the move here. The rest is kind of history. And yeah, over the last five seasons, 
we've what been... a rad story that's like a huge adventure yeah absolutely and it's so dude. cool that your wife was yeah. supportive oh it's amazing like i would not be doing this if it wasn't for selica shout out babe i love you that's so cool yeah and financially too like very modest income yeah you know we sold one car went down to one car packed everything into it moved across country we moved into a tiny 400 square foot studio that's so, so small yeah, dude. Wow. <laughs> Tiny. Yeah, I mean, a lot of sacrifices, but it's 100% worth it. That's such a cool story. I would do it again in a heartbeat. It's finally, a finally got up to Beaver. Been wanting to do this for the last few yeah. years, and uh, we were able to make it happen. So thanks to Ski Utah for that. Thanks to this guy. Thanks, Matt, dude, yeah. for showing us around. This is Beaver's awesome. Beaver's the source. Love it. Yeah, this is beautiful, dude. We're having an awesome time today. So Gorgeous. Yeah, how long have you been here? Uh, about a decade. Okay. Uh, as far as working here, mm -hmm. uh, I just started ski patrol. This is my rookie year ski patrolling. Nice. I just figured I'm here all the time anyway. Might as well help a little That's more. That's great, man. That's and a great way to be. We're one of the be. last all volunteer ski patrols. Wow. In the country. Dude, a lot God of ski bless you, then. Have, yeah, That's a lot of them have moved to like some paid, some volunteer, or all paid, and it works for some resorts, and that's great. If we had to pay wow. ski patrol, our, our lift tickets would probably be a lot more expensive. Right now, we're just 60 bucks a day. I know, it's amazing. It's crazy. Yeah, one of the most affordable places to still ride yeah. and ski, and it's thanks to people like you. So thank you for keeping us safe. Yeah, man. And thank you for doing it out of the goodness of your heart, man. It's oh, it's awesome. a lot of fun, and I get to yeah. spend time with my boys. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Wow, what a day. Cool. This cold snow keeps it nice and fast. Yeah, it snows in great. You one of the people who's shaping the park? Uh, yeah. Nice, dude. I just want to say you're doing a great job. Oh, thanks, man. Thank Appreciate you, it. dude. Yeah, I'm loving it out there. Yeah. Matt, thank you for man. showing us everything. Great Giving to meet you officially. Time yeah. out of your day. No, great to meet you, man. So, Matt was telling us that this building is one of the few that is entirely funded by the volunteer patrollers. So it's something kind of special. All the volunteer patrollers here, they all helped fund the building in this building. So Matt, if you're watching, thank you so much for showing us around. Uh, thank you for grabbing lunch with us. We just had lunch inside. And he gave us some tips on some slack country that I think we're gonna check out. We thought about maybe having a car parked down by the road and doing like a full backcountry run down to the road, but I don't think we have time. So we're gonna do some slack country and hopefully find our way back in bounds. Wish us luck. <laughs> we don't have cell reception up here, but we did grab some radios out of the car, some two-way radios. Hopefully we won't need them, but uh, it's good to have some form of communication just in case. That looks really good. It could be a little bit sun crusty, but I mean, yeah, it's had sun all day and this feels that. soft too. Yeah. So I think it's going to be good. We're going to have to come back to this cliff, guys. On a fresher day, maybe. Man, the view up here though, pretty unreal. Yeah. 
clear to what? Almost scared to just like scooch up to them. Oh my goodness. It seems pretty big. Send it, Anthony! <laughs> Adventure boarding, Anthony. Where are we? Oh, easy. Whoa there, doggy. I think we might have made it, boys. Are we back to civilization? Dude, I think we're calling it a day. That was fun. Super fun, yeah, man. Dude, it's great to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you too. Thanks for riding with us and showing us around. Great to meet you, Merrick. Yeah. Absolutely. Stuck to see where your progression takes you too, man. Yeah, yeah dude. dude. Keep at it. Yeah. The sky's the limit, bro. All right, Merrick. Tell yeah. your dad we said thanks again. Yeah. And uh, we'll be back, hopefully. You guys have a good drive. Thanks, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. Successful oh. day. It was great. I'll make I would definitely safe. call that a success. I'm a fan of beaver, guys. Are you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Super big fan. Yeah. This place would just you know, completely go off on a powder day. I think we all agree we need to come back here on a proper powder day. It's been like, I don't know, six days since the storm, maybe seven. Even so, the snow was great. Yeah, everything outside the backcountry gate. Oh, I could daydream about those lines. Yeah. Very easy to access terrain. Yeah, and super friendly people here. Like the family run atmosphere is just like the soul of this place, you can tell. It's so cool. Well, thanks boys, always a pleasure. Thank you, Dan, it was an awesome yeah. day. For sure. All right guys, drop a comment down below where you wanna see us riding next. There's only three resorts in Utah that I haven't been to now. Thanks guys for watching, love you all. Till next time. Till next time, subscribe, and uh, keep progressing in anything and everything you're doing. You. See you guys.